Hello, I'm Stuart Bloor. First cast, I had a little tap. I knew I got fish right in front of me. Second one, the rod gave a little bit more than a tap, and that was the result. A tiny little gudgeon. The first fish that I ever caught way back in the 1960s on the Staffs Worcestershire Canal. Always brings back lots of memories when I catch one from this venue. And another one bites the dust. And I do believe, certainly in the areas I've been fishing recently, if that's anything to go by, that these little fellas are making a little bit of a comeback. And that's not bad news at all, is it? And following a few goods in, I've just caught a second species. It looks very prehistoric, so if you're not an angler, you might think this is an unusual looking fish. But if you are a fisherman, then you'll be familiar with it. Although having said that, they're not as common as many other species, such as roach, perch, or indeed gudgeon. That is a rough, and it's one of my favorite fish. They don't grow very big, so this actually is quite a specimen. I'm continuing to catch small gudgeon. Great fun, actually, really enjoying it. But before I do cast out, let me show you my setup. I'm fishing with six pound main line, but not six pound right the way through to the hook. Two and a half pound fluorocarbon, not just the hook length, but way beyond it as well. So I've got a, a loop to loop for the fluorocarbon onto the main line. As you can see there, that's a very small lead, a bead, that's a five mil bead, a tiny shot, and the business end, size 18 hook, and a small red maggot. The hook length, which is created by nipping on the shot, of course, is about five inches. Simplicity in itself, but it's working. Now this is something a little bit bigger, so I know that it's not a gudgeon or a rough, so it will be my third species of the afternoon going quite well. I think it could be a perch, indeed it is, and it's a very nice one as well. And that's where I like to see it, in the net. And I'll be showing you that in a moment or two. A size 18 hook and a single red maggot seems so small when you take it at the side of the mouth of a perch like this. Not a monster by national standards, but you can only catch what's in there. And for the venue that I'm on, this is a very nice fish indeed. And I'm happy with it. And that is what really counts. I hope you've enjoyed that footage from the water's edge. I was hoping to get more sessions in with the camcorder. Unfortunately, I did my shoulder in, a trap nerve and a pulled muscle combination. I'll tell you what, I've been in agony and I haven't been fishing for a few days, which for me is quite serious if I haven't been out water's edge. Anyway, I've still managed to get some football related stuff in. And as you can see from the images on the screen, I've been to Aston Villa's Bodymore Heath training ground and I've been on the Guinness World Records Facebook Live account. What's all that about? Well, check out the blog entry that accompanies this video. You can find the link here on YouTube in the description box and also the comments box as well. And why not subscribe to my weekly updates? One out every Saturday. So as soon as I publish it, you'll get notification in your email inbox. Out and about yourself fishing tight lines and I'll see you next week.